If you're trying to connect multiple pivot charts to a single slicer and you don't know how to do that, then you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. As you can see here, I have two pivot charts, which are from the same data set. And I have created a slicer based on one of the fields in the pivot charts. And as you can see, when I click on each of the items in the slicer, the slicer is only updating one of the two pivot charts. There is a solution for this, and I'll let you know what that solution is step by step. But let's go ahead and first create these two pivot charts from scratch so I can tell you exactly how this is done. Okay, so this is the data set from which I want to create my two pivot charts. So the first step is that I'm going to create a tab called dashboard. That tab is the tab in which the two pivot charts are going to be transferred into. For now, I'm just going to create a tab. I'm going to call it dashboard. You can call this a tab whatever you want, but this is a tab in which your final pivot charts are going to be located. And we're going to use this tab in the next steps. The next step is to create on the data set and then go to insert pivot chart in the ribbon and select pivot chart. And I'm going to select a new worksheet. So this is going to go to a new worksheet and then I'll uh, select the fields that I want to be displayed in the pivot chart. So select these two fields. So this is my first pivot chart. And then I'll right click on the pivot chart and I'll go to move chart. This pop up appears and it's asking me where I want to move the pivot chart to. And I will reference the new tab that I just created a few moments ago. That is the tab named the dashboard and I'll click on OK. So that's the first pivot chart. Now I'll do the exact same thing for the second pivot chart. So I'll go to my source data. I'll select my data range and I'll go to insert pivot chart and pivot chart and pivot table, or you can only select pivot chart if you want. And once again, I will select new worksheet and I'll click on OK. So a new tab has been generated and I'll do the exact same thing. I'll this time I'm going to create a different pivot chart. So select the same fields this time, just for the sake of this example, I will turn this into a pie chart, for example, so somewhat different pivot chart. So I'll do the same thing for this one. I'll right click, go to move chart and I'll select the name of the destination tab, which in this case is called the dashboard. And I'll click on OK. And I can see the two pivot charts have both transferred to the dashboard tab. They're overlapping right now, but I'll move them one underneath the other. And these are our two pivot charts. Now I want to have a slicer that would update both of these two pivot charts at once. And now let's uh, try and create a slicer, see what happens. So I'll go to uh, the ribbon, pivot chart, analyze, and I'll click on insert slicer. And I'll select the field on which I want to create a slicer. In this case, it's country. And I'll click on OK. So there we go. There's our slicer. Now let's click on the slicer item, see what, what happens. As you can see, the slicer is only updating a one of the pivot charts. It's only updating the pivot chart on top. It's not updating the pie chart, pivot chart. It's only updating the pivot chart on the top. Uh, to solve this, the last step after doing all the things that I've already done is to go to slicer and go to report connections. And since we've moved the pivot charts into this final tab, that is the destination tab called dashboard, now I have to check this box on which the second pivot chart is located. And once I do that, whatever I select on this slicer will impact both charts as opposed to only one of them. So let's give this a try. So I check this check mark, I click on OK, and now let's click on one of the items on the slicer. There we go. As you can see, the slicer has successfully been applied to both pivot charts. And this is how it's done. As long as you go through all the steps mentioned in this tutorial, you'll be able to connect your slicer to two or even more than two pivot charts. And this is how it's done. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel, 
and you haven't subscribed already make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my next videos